What's up, hippo lovers? My thumbnail guy is on holidays and you still got clickbaited by the title and the thumbnail. Mm, shame on you, but okay, we will work you through this. We are looking at a letter game. FTW cheese against the Viper and as you can see at the top right the game won't be that long and we will try to find out how the approach is going to be here and I learned a lot from this game and it is a pretty cheesy strategy we will try to find out how this all played out and see see the strategy and the build order so basically we're playing ruse here and trying to use all the bonuses that ruse have it is lots of villagers on the sheep one villager only building the lumber camp after finishing the hunting cabin and then we build a second scout going for all the wolves and obviously for all the deer around to increase our bounty here and Obviously trying to aim for the double deer spot at least maybe we can contest a third one But the viper should be too good and should be denying that one So we will probably aim for tier 2 here before reaching fuel age one on wood still and now we go for the golden gate That's basically a market, but with better trading rates and still trying to get more and more bounty that also increases our gold so we don't have to go on gold at all with this strategy simply because we get so much through the hunting cabin already tier 2 so more generating there and also with all the gold that we get from killing all those animals two scouts around and now after reaching feudal age we juggle a bit with resources using our market and instantly get professional scouts that allows us to carry those carcasses of those deer closer to our town center and everything will be nice, neat and packed here while we see the Viper, by the way, Holy Roman Empire plays a very economic approach here, tries to go for Fast Castle himself, but look at that, we are at 4.30 and at home, I even want to slow it down a bit because it's really interesting to see. Everything on food directly next to the town center three only on wood here and We're still not on gold at all and now it starts that we are basically transfer Transferring all those carcasses more and more closer to our TC There's still one scout around trying to figure out what our opponent is doing and Now that we feel okay. Our food is really skyrocketing uh, We are even adding some more scouts in the end we will have four trying to collect all those and getting a good idea of what's going on bounty is only at 300 so not the wildest thing ever but simply constantly transferring more and more food now if you ever get to the 175 wood i believe you also go for the fortress to increase your would not come here and also protect this area. Look at that. We are only six minutes in. This is the time where the first time archers arrive, maybe horsemen, something else. And look at that. Every single villager is super close to the town center, extremely protected. So it's tough to really get a lot of damage here. And we continue using the golden gate, selling some wood, selling some food. If we feel like it, look at how high our food is getting. Pretty damn crazy. Compare the food income here. And that is with the Aachen Chapel. So even increasing all that income here, completely crazy numbers, right? Simply because deer is so much faster and we have mass villagers. Look at that, 20 on food here, wooden fortress now to protect. And simply more and more scouts as taxis here, dropping off more resources. We have enough food to sell here and now we are clicking up to castle age at 640 and instantly going for abbey of trinity allowing us to go for the warrior monks and look at that even pulling 10 villagers meanwhile the viper simply plays his normal opening and yeah it looks a bit like a passive game but he also did go for 
the professional scouts, trying to get more food over, trying to have all the villagers safe. Makes a lot of sense, right? Because that will inspire all those villagers here to be close to the Aachen Chapel. And he has some solid income as well, but simply not going for gold makes this one so, so easy. And as we can see, look at that timing. We are around 7.40 and we will reach Castle It. And now we go for a unit that we very rarely see. It is the Horse Archer. Exclusively for the Ruse. Now reaching Castle Age, as I said before, 7 minute 40. We instantly can queue up two warrior monks as well. Can collect some relics. We are going for more and more deer. That's the only thing that you need to micro at this point. And yeah, this is probably not the typical thing because we have an extremely passive game here. But how else can you punish this? We have a defensive tower. We have all our villagers next to our town center. Now massive villagers on wood, as you can see. 12 on wood, 15 still on food, all next to the town center. Now we are dropping more and more archer ranges while we are collecting relics. And this is so tough to punish f by our opponent. Possible moves here are a few late all-ins with some rams, but then I think you can simply go double stable or you can go men at arms against every feudal age all-in. You should easily be able to defend this. And simply because you have five scouts out on the field, right? How many do we have? We have five scouts out on the field. Four still collecting carcasses and one still scouting. So you always have a really good idea of what your opponent is up to. And now we are putting on some pressure. Controlling some sacred sites, controlling some relics. And often, especially here, Rignitz Cathedral, you're trying to get all those relics. But Viper, he plays a reasonable, an absolutely reasonable castle age timing, right? With... Uh, professional scouts and he will reach around 930 here which is well, with this build absolutely standard but with all the horse archers double archer range here so much production this is even a small misstep i think if you play this a third archer range can even be placed simply because we have also the 20 percent faster gathering rate here the viper indeed before nine minute 30 seconds castle edge timing but what can he do horse archers are already out and we can see from here, it kind of snowballs, right? Scouts can be annoying, can be scouting quite a bit. Double stable scouted here. Or at least the Viper is going for double stable. And now we play full horse archer and even having to build another monastery because the Abbey of Trinity can only hold three relics. And we get so much control here, as you can see, even control going for the one at the very top, that we have to build another monastery horse archers coming around housed it's not 100% optimized here as we can see but still the pressure is pretty damn crazy and ca count somewhat getting out of control here and the viper is going for some knights but how can you really get the control viper is trying to go with a prelate here tries to collect some knights charging in but honestly that's not a pretty one to micro and the horse archers can chase this one down quite easily and viper just healing up and yeah I, i'm really really impressed love to see this one as i said you can go for more archer ranges here we have archer range number three and number four in the back so actually this is pretty solid and leave some space to farm around this so i think this is one of the major advantages of the strategy as well how incredibly protected all your villagers are. Well, we have five relics now. Before minute 12, we can now go for the sacred sites with three warrior monks. Have massive amount of horse archers. And if I say massive amount, I mean massive amount of horse archers. And the viper is trying to make something here with knights. But how can you micro against this one? We can even go for the blacksmith. And viper needs to disengage. Tricky, tricky moves here for him. Build up, as we can see, only wood, only food, relatively similar numbers there. If we want to balance, we can still use the golden gate and just drop off some hunting cabins from time to time to generate even more gold from you, but you already get 500 gold per minute. So completely getting out of control there, as we can see. 
And now the knight's trying to take a better engagement, but how can they? Horse archers can micro so, so well. The counter against horse archers here would technically be archers and upgrade them later on, but obviously not really something where the Holy Roman Empire shines. And the viper in this time getting probably hard countered with the strategy. I think if we have some archer openings, those horse archers struggle a bit more, but truly an interesting opening. And yeah, a build order I played a lot. I hope you enjoyed that one. My green screen went pretty wild here back and forth. And yeah, that's it from me. Goodbye, hippo lovers.